Welcome to my course Digital Design with Verilog. In today's module, we are going to discuss about binary arithmetic. So, again, this content uh, is covered from the chapter 1 of Coavis book as well as the chapter 1 of Manos book. So, today we are going to discuss is uh, you have certain numbers stored in your uh, in say memory uh, and you want to do addition operations or subtraction operations. Okay. So, how this uh, is being done in the hardware that is something uh, we are going to discuss. To start with we will talk about uh, two complement of a number representation which is called R th uh, complement or R minus 1's complement okay, where R is the base of a number and we uh, if you recollect uh, we discussed that uh, if the base is say R, so then the number is from 0 to r minus 1 right digits say for example in our uh, binary where the r equal to 2 i have 0 and 1 so the number will be represented by this and if you have a number which is uh, say 1 0 1 1 how do i uh, get the value of this uh, representation so we just assign the weights from the lsp so this is the weight is 0 this is 2 to, the, uh, 2 to the power 1, so this is 2 to the power 0, then this is 2 to the power 1, this is 2 to the power 2 and this is 2 to the power 3. So, this is how it will grow, right. So, we will just do this 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power 2 plus 0 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. So, this is turn out to be 8 plus 4 plus 0 plus 1 which is 13. So, this is actually number 13 which is represented in binary mode. So, this once we have a number in a base r, we can complement a number. So, there are two a uh, two representations which is popularly used one is r minus 1's complement and the other one is r s complement. So, let us first discuss this r minus 1's complement. So, what is this is basically you take the r if there are n digits in the number. So, here n equal to 4 because there are 4 digits. So, it is basically r to the power n minus 1 minus n, n is the number ok. So, this uh, n is the actual number and the n is the number of bits small n right. So, r is r minus 1's complement is given by this right. So, now if you think about uh, 1's complement because r is 2, so r minus 1 is uh, 1. So, 1's complement in binary is uh, will be given by whatever the say suppose you have taken this number 13 only. So, 1101, 1101 which is 13 and I want to get the 1's complement of this number. So, since I am using 4 bits, so my n equal to 4 here. Uh, n equal to 4 here. So, it is basically uh, 2 to the power 4 minus 1 minus the number. So, which is basically 16 minus 1 minus 13 which is 2 right. So, we will basically the complement of this uh, 13 1's complement of 13 is 2. So, how I am getting I mean by doing this. So, if you see here uh, in general this r to the power n minus 1 is the number uh, is if there are n number of bits are there and if all of them is 1 uh, if say n number of bits n equal to 4 in my case. So, if there are n number of bits all four, 1 it is basically 15 right which is 2 to the power 4 minus 1. So, effectively 1's complement uh, what I am doing here if you take this r to the power n minus number which is all 1 let me write here say all 1 which is my 15 and I want to take a 1's complement the number 13. So, 13 is 1 1 0 1 and if you do kind of a subtraction right. So, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus is 0 which is nothing but 2 right. So, how can I get this 1's uh, complement of a number just do a it is basically subtract this number uh, from this r to the power n minus 1, but effectively what I am doing I am just complementing the number you see this 1 becomes 0, 0 become 1, 1 becomes 0, 1 becomes 0 
right. So, it is basically whatever the number I have you just complement the bits right. So, now if you take uh, uh, some arbitrary value 1 1 0 1 1 0. So, if I just try to do a once complement for this number you do not have to bother about much mathematically what is happening you just do the complement of these bits right 0 0 1 0 0 right this is a one complement. Okay. So, uh, this is about ones complement. So, given a binary number uh, what you have to do you have to just replace this 1 by 0, 0 by 1 effectively then you will get the ones complement of the number. Uh, now, if you uh, take the twos complement or the rs complement right. So, I talked about now rs complement it is basically if you see this r minus ones complement which is 2 to the power n minus 1 minus the number. So, if you just add 1 then you will get the R s complement right it is basically 2 to the power n minus n. Okay. So, for a given number uh, uh, the R s complement uh, is given by R 2 to the power n minus n, n is the number of bits and is the actual number okay. and for 0 it is always 0 that also we will discuss more detail. So, if the number is 0 we will not change anything we will just keep 0. Okay. Uh, and uh, so, it can be obtained from this uh, uh, R s complement by this way just adding 1 right. So, uh, you can just do the 1's complement first and then you add 1 then you will get the 2's complement in binary right because we are more concerned about the binary. So, I am giving example from binary domain, but the similar strategy holds for any other domain like say octal, hex or say uh, decimal any domain this particular philosophy holds because I am discussing in general R's complement. Okay. So, as I discussed now the two's complement is basically you will uh, uh, take the one's complement and then you add one right. So, the if you take the example 13, uh, so we have 13 which is 1101 and then one's complement I got 0010 0, 0, right this is my one's complement complement. So, two's complement I will get by just adding 1 right. So, I will just add 1 and it will be 1 1 0 0. Okay. So, this is my two's complement. Okay. So, now uh, you can do this way that you first complement this bits and you get one's complement then you add it. In general you can also get it directly. Okay. So, what you can do you can just uh, keep all least significant zeros as it is and the first one unchanged and then the replace other 1 with 0, 0 with 1 right. Uh, so, for this example of 1 1 0 1 what you do you till the first one right. So, you keep uh, if there are some 0 here you keep them as it is and then after this bit after the first one the rest of the bit you basically complement right. So, from here I can directly uh, get the two's complement by this way. So, I will keep the first one and rest of the bit I will uh, make a complement. So, it 0 will become 1 and this 2 1 becomes 0 0 and that is what is this right same I get. To give more examples say suppose uh, you have a number 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 something like this right or say 0 0 some big number okay. and if you do a once complement first if you do once complement it is basically 0 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 right. So, if you try to do a two's complement from here you will just do a add 1. So, it will become 1 1 0 1 1 0 and then 1 just a second. So, I can just uh, do a addition of 1 here. Uh, so, let me just do one addition here. So, 1 1 0 1 is coming here. So, 1 1 0 then 1 is coming here 1 then 1 1 uh, 0 1 0 0. So, this is my two's complement. I can do it directly. So, what the rules is that whatever the leading 0 you keep them as it is okay. and till the first 1. So, I will keep them as it is and rest of the bit I will complement. Okay. So, it is 1 1 0 1 0 0. If you see here this is exactly what I obtained here if you do this once complement and add 1. Okay. So, this is something a simplification, but if you are not confident you can always do a once complement and add 1. Okay. 
So, this is about two's complement. So, uh, and then if you just do a complement of a complement of a number, right. So, uh, suppose you have the number n, you do a two's complement, it is 2 to the power n minus n, and then again you do two's complement. So, it is 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power n minus n, right. So, it is basically n. So, you will get back the original number, okay. So, effectively complement of a complement is the same number we will obtain. Now, the question is why you are learning all those things. The primary objective is to uh, do this subtraction operation in efficiently in the hardware, okay. So, in uh, subsequent uh, part of the discussion, I will going to talk about how we will do this addition operation first and then I will see how we can do the subtraction operation and your number can be both uh, unsigned number or signed number. Okay. So, both cases how you will do this addition and subtraction and how this complement of a number specifically the two's complement will help me to doing this efficiently. Okay. So, that is something I am going to discuss next. So, let us start the addition of unsigned number. Unsigned means uh, it is always positive number. So, sign is kind of omitted. So, by default it is uh, unsigned number in the sense positive numbers. Okay. So, let us uh, take an example. Say suppose I want to add uh, two numbers say 5 and 7 okay and i have say 4 bit representation so 5 is 0 1 0 1 and 7 is 0 1 1 and 1 okay and if i want to do addition what will happen so it is basically plus 12 right so let's do this addition so 1 plus 1 is 0 then 1 is a carry so then 1 1 0 there is a carry then 1 1 0 plus 1 1 there is a carry and then 1, right. So, this is 12. So, we will get it, okay. So, the uh, addition of uh, two numbers when uh, uh, you can just do their binary bitwise addition, the simple rule, you will get the number, okay, the result. So, now if what will happen if, if the uh, addition value is more than the number of bit we have with us, right. So, let us take the example of say I want to add 5 plus 12, okay. So, 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1 and this is 1, 1, 0, 0. I want to do addition. So, it is basically 17, right. So, this is if I do the addition here 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, there is a carry here, 1, 1, 0, there is a carry here. So, what is going to happen because you have 4 bit, uh, this is the carry bit, right. So, this is carry out and what is effectively happening here, it is basically since if your result you have only 4 bit to store then you have to discard this right and this if you show this 17 it is basically 2 to the power 5 plus and then this is uh, say 0 1 2 3 4 right. So, 2 to the power 4 and this is 2 to the power 0 right this is 2 to the power 0 the rest of the bits are 0. So, this is my carry bit right because I have 4 bits. So, uh, I cannot keep the fifth bit. So, this will go as a carry out. So, uh, when you do this addition of two unsigned number, you should have a carry out bit. So, result should be if you are adding two n bits number, maximum value that you can obtain is uh, uh, which need n plus 1 bits, okay. Because you think about 4 bit. So, maximum value is 15, right. So, then um, if you are adding 15 plus 15, it is 30, right. That is the maximum value you can get. And 30, you need basically 5 bits to store, okay. So, usually for n and n bit your maximum result will be n plus 1 because n bit is the result or sum and this is the carry out. So, if you do not have carry out this will be discarded and result will be shown as 1 and 1 is nothing but the things of 17 the part that can store in the last 4 bits. Okay. So, this way this can be done seamlessly only thing you have to take care of the carry out in your uh, hardware. Okay. So, this part is clear. So, now if you try to do the subtraction, okay. So, you can always develop a hardware that can do subtraction, but what is our objective? We want to do this subtraction also using addition operation, okay. And here I am going to show you that if you just have the two's complement of the number, you can do it just like adder, okay. So, let us take the same example, say suppose now I have now 5 and 7, okay. Let me just take 7 5 first and then I will talk about. So, suppose you have 7 and then 5 you want to do a minus here. So, 7 you have 0 1 1 1 and then this uh, 
5 is 0 1 0 1 ok. I want to do subtraction ok. So, if we uh, take the 2's complement of 5 which is uh, r to the power 4 minus n right this is my 2's complement right. So, now if I add this value with uh, 7 right. So, suppose I am doing m plus n in general m minus n right. So, what I can do I can take the 2's complement of n which is 2 to the power minus n and I just do a addition with this right. So, I will do m plus this. So, what is going to happen? I will get 2 to the power n plus m minus n. So, this is what is my desired thing and what is this? This is the carry out because two to, if there are n bits maximum value is 2 to the power n minus 1. So, 2 to the power n is actually the carry out bit which will not store in n bits right. This is the this bit right. So, if it is 1 0 0 0 0 this is basically 2 to the power n right for 4 it is 16. So, effectively and this I can discard because finally I want m minus n right. So, for subtraction uh, the simple or uh, convenient way is that whatever the number you have you basically take a uh, if m minus n you take it two's complement of the number n and you just add it and you discard the uh, carry ok. So, let me do this. So, in this case uh, two's complement of this number 1 0 1 1 right. So, this is my two's complement number because I just keep the leading one and the other things as there. So, now I want to do addition of this to this. So, 7 is 0 1 1 1 and I will add this 1 0 1 1 right. So, now this is my minus 5 basically and this is 7 and then I am doing addition. So, 1 1 0 carry 1 1 0 1 carry 1 1 1 0 carry 1 1 1 0 carry 1. So, this is my that 2 to the power 4 bits right and if the result is effectively 2 you see here this is basically 2 right and this is my carry out. So, you are doing a subtraction m minus n you take the 2's complement of n. So, you are doing m minus n. So, you take the 2's complement of n and then you add it and you will get r to the power n which is a carry ok. So, when your value is m greater than n because you will your result will be positive ok. So, this part I covered. Now, let me take uh, the same example uh, now I will do 5 minus 7 ok. So, now your result should be minus 2. So, what will happen in this scenario? So, 5 is 101, 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1, and as the rule says, I will take a 2's complement of 7, 7. So, it is basically I will keep the leading bit 1 and rest of the visual complement. So, 0, 1, 0, 1, and then this is 1, and this is 0, 0, 1, right, and then I will do addition. So, then I uh, will get 1 1 0 oh, carry 1 1 then 1 1 1 right. So, this is the result I get and if you see this is basically 14 right. So, why this is coming because you do this result and it is minus 2 and this see you are doing this result in unsigned number there is no sign bit representation so far right. So, if you take a 2's complement of this. So, what will happen? it will be 1 0 and then 0 0. So, this is basically 2 right. So, effectively this is 2, but it is a 2's complement of 2 it is the 2's uh, complement of minus 2 right. So, effectively uh, whenever the neg result is negative the result is uh, will come result will come in 2's complement of the result. So, why it is happening? Say you are doing m minus n right and what we are doing uh, m addition 2 to the power n minus n. So, what we are getting 2 to the power n plus since n greater than m. So, effectively it is you will get this minus n minus m right because this is m minus n. So, I can do it this way also. What is this? This is the 2's complement of of n minus n because your n greater than m. So, your result will be negative right. So, effectively so whenever your uh, numbers uh, you are doing a subtraction of a uh, bigger number from a smaller number. 
then result will come in 2's complement form. This is correct result only, it is nothing but the 2's complement of um, 2, right. So, to get the number in uh, in our conventional form, you take a 2's complement and you just add a minus here. So, it is basically minus 2. So, minus 2 will be represented as 14 in hardware. So, what we learn from here that to do this subtraction of unsigned number, you do not need to bother about the negation. So, you just take a two's complement of the number n because it is m minus n and do the addition. And if uh, m greater than n, the result the carry will be discarded and the result will be the positive number uh, is there. And if the n greater than n, so then there will be no carry, but the result will be the two's complement form of the uh, two's complement form of the actual result, okay. That is what we are getting here, okay. So, what the conclusion the subtraction is performed using adder only for unsigned number that we understood here. So, let us now move on to uh, uh, the uh, sign numbers. So, there is one more example here. So, uh, before moving there, so I have say x and y uh, which I do a uh, minus then uh, I will get the two's complement of y is this, this is my sum because there is a carry out here, right if I do this uh, discard, so discard the n carry. So, this is my result effectively, okay. So, this is my result. Now, if we uh, do y minus x, obviously, since x greater than y here because this is a bigger number, if you do y minus x the result will be negative, right. So, now I will take a two's complement of x, I will do this and the summation is this and there is no carry here. So, this is nothing but the two's complement of the actual result, right. So, which is this basically. Okay. So, this we understood. Now, let us uh, move on to our discussion for sign binary number. So, first thing we should understand how we will represent the sign value uh, in the hardware. So, there is so usually say suppose minus 5. So, this actually denotes this a negative number, but in hardware there is nothing like minus plus right. So, we have only the bits uh, 0 and 1 right. So, uh, even for storing this minus we need to represent this minus as a bit. So, the convention is that if you have n bits, okay, you store this n minus 1 bits to store the data okay, and the MSB is for sign and if it is a negative number I will put 0. So, 1 if it is a negative number, 0 if it is a positive number. Okay. So, what is happening here? So, I will just reserve my MSB to store the sign value whether it is a negative or positive. So, obviously, uh, earlier whatever uh, the num number we can for unsigned number we utilize all n bits. Now, we can only utilize the n minus 1 bits. So, obviously, I cannot represent so many numbers now, right. So, earlier it is 2 to the power n minus 1 to 0, right. This is the range for unsigned, okay. So, for unsigned uh, range will be uh, see all 1 right which is 2 to the power n minus 1 to 0 to all 0 right this is the range. Now, I am having n bits. So, the range will be kind of 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 2 so 2 to the power n minus 1 um, minus 1 okay, 2 minus 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1. Earlier you uh, see here this is n and this is n minus 1. So, effectively if there are 4 bits it is 15 to 0 right. So, here I can represent uh, I can represent uh, uh, 15 um, this is 15 and this is 0 right. So, the range is basically 15 to 0 right. And here it is uh, 8 plus 7 to minus 7, right. So, which is plus 7 to minus 7, okay. So, that is the kind of range I can utilize. So, obvious, but the still we are uh, effectively representing all number, but negative numbers, okay. So, this part I understood that we need a sign bit to store a, a sign number, but what about this n minus 1? What will we store when we have negative numbers? So, there are three uh, possibilities. The first possibility is the sign magnitude. So, what sign magnitude is this? So, if I have negative number, I will 
keep the number as it is and I will keep the bit 1 for the MSB. So, for example, if you have a plus 9 and here I have uh, using a uh, 8 bit representation. So, what I am doing? So, this is my 9 actual right this is this is my 9 plus 9 and I just keep one sign bit to ma maintain this. So, if you just think about a 5 bit representation. So, 9 is 1 0 0 1 and I just keep 1 here it is minus 9 and 1 0 0 1 and if we keep 0 here this is plus 9 right. So, I just keep the number as it is in the sign magnitude and only just put 1 or 0 based on the number whether it is a positive or negative right. In 1's complement it is as it suggests. So, if the number is positive I will just keep as it is ok this is plus 9 and if it is uh, negative number I will take the 1's complement of this number which is 0 1 1 0 and I will put a 1 here ok which is minus 9 this is in 1's complement and this is sign magnitude right. And in 2's complement the similar way if it is number is positive I will just keep as it is and if it is negative I will take the 2's complement of the number which is uh, 1001. So, I will keep the first bit as it is 1 and rest of the bit complement. So, this is the thing so and then I will put 1 here. So, this is minus 9 in 2's complement ok. So, this is how I can store the data but we will show that this 2's complement is the most natural choice because in this case whenever you try to do the addition subtraction you do not have to bother about what is the sign bit and what is we can do this addition subtraction seamlessly ok. So, that is something I will discuss. So, as I mentioned here that in minus n I will take the 2's complement and I uh, will just store there ok. Uh, so, one important thing is that so if it is say plus 9 ok. So, it is 0 and say I am using now 8 bit 1 2 3 4. So, now it is 1 0 0 1 and then this is 0 0 right there are 4 zeros right. So, this is my 9 in 8 bits n equal to 8. One important thing is that whenever you have this number to do a 2's complement this is my sign bit ok this is my sign bit. So, do when you do this 2's complement you do not have to bother about whether you do not have to handle the sign bit uh, I mean separately ok. You just take the entire number and you do the sign uh, conclusion. So, it will be since the first bit leading bit is 1 and rest of the bit will be complement right 1 1 0 then 1 1 1 1. So, this is nothing but minus 9 ok. So, the idea is that you take the entire number ok. So, you for doing taking the 2's complement positive number including the sign bit ok. So, you just take the entire bit and you complement ok. So, you do not have to handle this sign bit separately to get the 2's complement ok. And as I mentioned the 2's complement is a natural choice in the digital system. So, every number is stored as a 2's complement of the number in a sign sign binary number. So, that we can seamlessly do the addition subtraction using adder ok. Before going to discuss this addition subtraction first let us uh, just see the range uh, just uh, I try to cover. In uh, sign magnitude uh, we can say for 4 bits as I mentioned it is from plus 7 to minus 7 right. So, uh, which is uh, I have already discussed so it is basically 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 this is plus 2 minus 2 to the power minus 1. Ok. And you see here this is my uh, sign magnitude. So, there is no minus 8 here ok that is natural. Once complete also the same thing right this is for both uh, sign magnitude and 2's once complement. For 2's complement there is some one interesting scenario. So, there is no negative minus 0 right. So, you can see there in the previous example also when I talked about I say that this is 0 to 15 and this is plus 7 to uh, minus 7. So, here you are actually representing 16 number here 15 number right. So, uh, one value is missing effectively 
right because it is plus 7 to uh, 1 then 0 then minus 1 to minus 7. So, there are 15 numbers here ok. So, effectively you are actually losing 1 1 is unused and this is because minus 0 there is no minus 0 right 0 or minus 0 is same thing. So, there is no minus 0 and we just discard it ok. But in truth complement uh, if you take uh, plus 0 it is all 0 0 right. So, 0 0 0 and then the sign bit is 0. If you do this a uh, two's complement uh, there. So, if you will basically do this all 1 then if you add a 1 it is basically 1 0 0 0 right. So, effectively it will look like this, but we do not need this. So, what we do this we just use this to store minus 8 ok. So, in two's complement we can just store one more negative number ok 2 to the power n minus 1 2 minus 1 2 2 to the power n minus 1 negative. So, this 1 0 0 is used to store minus 8 specifically. So, we just discard this minus 0 concept and that I utilize for this ok. So, one more number can be represented in two's complement. So, all 16 locations possible values are used and this can be utilized I mean uh, even if you represent minus 8 that will not disturb your addition subtraction ok. Now, let me move on and let me discuss this uh, arithmetic addition. Uh, when your number is actually signed by a number ok. So, as I uh, as I am going to show now that even if you have this number is signed your addition will be just a subtraction is nothing but addition ok. So, uh, you can have say m and n and this uh, m can be positive or negative number ok, n also can be positive or negative number right and you can do a addition or subtraction here. So, these are the possible cases. So, if it is pos m it will be the positive number right. If it is minus m I will keep the two's complement of the number right and if it is uh, plus n again it is the actual number and leading 0 and then if it is minus n I will keep the two's complement and I will put a 1 at the leading sign bit. Right. So, this is how this m and n is represented if it is signed uh, whether it is a negative or positive number ok. And once you do this for addition or subtraction we can just uh, do the same thing that I have done earlier right. So, I do not have to bother about what is m what is n whether it is a positive or negative number I can just do this uh, uh, subtraction ok. So, what is going to happen? So, suppose you want to do this say suppose it does not matter what is your m right. So, you have m which is already in two's complement form and then you want to do a uh, addition with minus n because minus n is already 2 to the power n minus n right. So, if you do a m plus n so again this will become m minus n and carry will be discarded ok. So, now if you have uh, m minus n and you want to do a su subtraction now ok. So, suppose you want to do uh, sub subtraction now. So, instead of do this so suppose you want to do m minus minus n. So, minus n means it is already 2 to the power n minus n right and you are doing m minus this and as I mentioned whenever you have a minus here you take a two's complement of this number. So, what will do this is m plus 2 to the power n minus 2 to the power n minus n right it is a two's complement of this number and you know already that if you do a double complement it will become n right. So, effectively it become m plus n right. So, if you are doing effectively this it is nothing but m plus n right and this is exactly going to happen in two's complement. So, the philosophy is same whenever you do the addition no matter whether it is a m positive or m negative you just do the addition your result will be as it is ok including the sign bit and whenever you do the subtraction you take the two's complement of the second number. If the second number is negative, so it is minus minus plus, so it will effectively do the m plus n automatically in the hardware. I hope you understand this and uh, it no matter what is the value of m because it will be automatically be taken care. So, only thing is that whenever you do this addition you might have a carry bit which uh, uh, carry out bit of the sign bit percentage you have to just discard this because you cannot just handle that ok because that is outside of your range ok. So, some example here uh, which uh, say first you try to do addition uh, your numbers are now in two's complement form ok and you want to do 6 plus 13 and both are positive numbers. So, this is uh, 13 right. Uh, so, this is 6 
right. So, this is uh, 1 1 0 and this is the sign bit, this is my sign bit, this is the sign bit of 13 and 13 is 1 1 0 1 and there are leading zeros. And if you do the addition, this is 1, then 1 0 1, 1 1 0, there is a carry here, then 1 1 0, there is a carry here, so then 0 0 1 1, then 0 0 0. So, if you see here, this is basically 16 plus 2 plus 1, it is 90. So, you get 19 and your sign bit is 0. So, you are doing the addition without bothering about what is the sign bit, you are just doing the addition as it is. Okay. Now, you take uh, minus 6 plus 13. Okay, so, this is minus 6, so it is a 2's complement, right. So, you have this 0, then this is actually 1, 1, 0 and then rest of the things are 0, right. Uh -huh. So, this is your sign bit. So, if you do a 2's complement, it will be 1, 0, then rest of that bits will be uh, complement 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So, this is the minus 6, right, 2's complement of minus 6. It is effectively 2 to the power n minus m and you are doing a addition right with n, n is a positive number. So, what is going to happen here? So, 2 to the power n plus n minus m right. So, you are effectively going to get n minus m, n is uh, greater here, it is a positive number right. So, it is always be the result is 7 right. If you do this addition, this will be discarded and this will be the result. So, let us try to do this. So, 13 is this and if you do this addition 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 then 1 1 0 there is a carry here then 1 1 0 here there is a carry here 1 1 0 there is a carry here 1 1 0 there is a carry here 1 1 0 there is a carry here. So, this carry will be discarded and you see this is 7 and this is a positive number that is the expectation result because this is the carry out discarded and this is n minus m n is positive and uh, m is negative because I have taken minus 6. Okay. So, this is done. right? So, now let us take uh, 6 minus 13. So, in 6 minus 13, I have to take a uh, 2's complement of n which is uh, you can just do yourself, but this is the 2's complement of this. right? We can just cross check. So, what is happening here? So, you have m plus 2 to the power n minus n right because it is negative. So, if you do the addition this is 2 to the power n plus m minus m right. So, you are effectively going to get because here this is minus 13. So, effectively you should get uh, m minus n uh, plus uh, this 2 to the power n. So, let us do this. So, 0 1 is 1, 1 1 0 there is a carry, 1 1 0 there is a carry, 1 1 1, 1 0 1, 1 0 all is 1 right. So, there is no carry out. So, effectively what we got here is because this 13 is bigger number, we are going to get 2 to the power n minus n plus m. Right? So, it is basically I get 7, but the 2's complement of that, it depends on the value. Right? So, we are going to get minus 7 and this result is, so this is sign bit and this is nothing but the 2's complement of 7, because that is what I am getting here. Right? And the last one is if you do this, so you have 2 to the power n minus m and you are doing addition plus you are doing 2 to the power n minus n. Right? So, what is going to happen here? Uh, you are going to get a carry as well, so 2 to the power n and here you are going to get n minus m because it is basically m plus m, right? so sorry n plus m and then you will get 2 to the power n plus this right. So, you can just rearrange this number uh, this way. So, it you have 2 to the power n plus 2 to the power n minus m minus n right which is basically is this 2 to the power n plus 2 to the power n minus m plus n right. So, because this is a negative number I am going to get the 2's complement of m plus n in the result. Let us do that. So, and also it is going to get a carry because there is both 2 to the power n is there, right. So, this is 0 1 1 1 1 0, there is a carry here 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0, there is a carry here. So, then 1 1 0 1 1 1 1, then there is a carry 1 1 1 1, there is a carry 1 1 plus 1 plus 1, and there is a carry out. So, this carry out is basically this, 
and this 2 to the power n. So, the result I got it is not nothing but the 2's complement of minus 19 and because this is a negative number I get sin bit here. So, you can see here in all scenario the sin bit is coming correctly all scenarios and the result uh, depends on the values either you will get the positive if the number is positive you will get the actual value or if the value is coming negative. So, it is basically it will store as a 2's complement of the number you do not have to bother about anything understood. So, in the uh, subtraction time as I mentioned you have to just take the 2's complement of the number and the number will change based on the value. So, if it is positive uh, it will become say suppose you want to do a minus b. So, it will become minus b which is 2's complement right and then if it is minus minus it will become positive. So, that part I have already solved. So, even if the number is in, uh, you are doing a subtraction you just uh, put this uh, uh, subtraction into this uh, the second bit. So, that you just take a 2's complement and do addition right. So, effectively I can do this using addition. So, this shows that in uh, in 2's complement form I can do this addition subtraction of the sign number also similarly without bothering about the, uh, the other value their sign magnitude and most importantly this uh, addition so I am doing I do not have to take care of the sign bit separately. So, everything will be automatically uh, taken care by the error itself ok. So, just to summarize this 2's complement is the uh, uh, the most conventional way to store numbers sign number in hardware and uh, uh, this need only one common hardware circuit handle both type of arithmetic both addition subtraction and the consideration result has a sign complement system virtually uh, it is the all arithmetic unit of computer system right. So, any uh, digital system uh, uh, they always store that in 2's complement form of result. So, that you just have to do addition uh, for this ok. So, this concludes today's discussion on binary arithmetic ok. Thank you.